Water voles are one of the most threatened mammals in the British countryside. In the early 2000s, they disappeared from Devon altogether. So this is the last remaining native population of water voles on a river that links back into Devon. So there's even more importance of us protecting this colony to give them a chance to spread back into the county. The numbers have declined by about 90% over the last 20 years, so we have a huge responsibility to protect the habitats that they rely on. Here on our Dorset farm, we've got populations of one of the UK's rarest mammals, water voles, living here in the streams and the ponds. I'm here this afternoon to look for signs that they've been breeding here over the summer and to make sure that the work we're doing to protect their fragile habitat is working well. So this is the plant we're getting rid of today. This is Himalayan balsam. And a few years ago, this was growing in such thick stands that the water voles just didn't have anything to eat below it. So if we can get a handle on it here, then it means the, the health of the river for voles and all sorts of other river wildlife is vastly improved. So as pretty as this looks and as, as innocuous as it looks, it's got to go. As the name suggests, water voles are really linked to water, rivers and ponds like this. Water voles are vegetarian and they create these wonderful little feeding lawns around the edge of the pond where they trim the grass down very low and sit in that, reaching up into the vegetation around them to pull down lengths of soft rush which they then cut into very uniform lengths to feed on. They like to be by the water because that's their refuge if they're threatened and they'll jump in with a characteristic plop. So what we're looking for are areas a bit like this but fresher. This is an old feeding lawn of water voles. You can see where the ends of the soft rush have been nibbled off when one's been sat here feeding away under the cover of this tussock of grass, but there's nothing fresh in here that would indicate they've been here recently. Absolutely no sign of activity, so time to go and survey another part of the pond. What was that? Who knows? I mean, it could have been a frog, it could have been a fish poking its head up, but that plop is a really characteristic noise that waterfalls make when they dive into the water to, to escape. So maybe there's some feeding activity just down here. So I've had a scan around the edge of the pond now, and while there's lots of evidence of old feeding sites, there's nothing that I can see that says they've been here recently and, and in breeding times. So that's nothing to panic about. It means we still have to keep this pond bankside perfect for water voles, because just over here, stone's throw away, we've got the River Axe, and that is really important for taking the voles and allowing them to move back down through the river valley and back into Devon. So the fact we've got to the point where I can pop along in an afternoon and get rid of all of the late summer regrowth is thanks to the efforts of lots of volunteers who've been coming back to East Axnola Farm in the summer and removing all that early year growth. <laughs> 